Hello and welcome. We are going to look at the recently concluded chemistry paper to UCE that is UNEB, Uganda Examination Board. So we are going to try and look at each question a bit first, starting with section A, which is compulsory. We answer all questions in section A. So let's start with question one and see the best possible answers for the questions that we are set. Question 1. Carbon exists in different forms. Giving a reason in each case, name the form of carbon which is used to make glass cutters. So, different forms, what they are asking here, they are basically asking for the allotropes of carbon. So, carbon has crystalline allotropes where we have diamond, where we have graphite. It also has amorphous forms of carbon. But our main emphasis in this case probably will lie between diamond and graphite. So to make glass cutters, one thing we have to note is that we have to use something strong enough to cut glass, meaning something hard. So in this case, we shall look for allotropes of carbon, most likely the crystal, crystalline ones, so that we can choose which one is hard enough to cut glass. And in this case, we know diamond is strong. So if you, if you look at this image here, we have our glass cutter. This glass cutter, its tip here, has diamond, at least in most cases. If not diamond, at least something hard enough to cut glass. So why do we use diamond to cut glass? What is the reason? Obviously, diamond is very hard. We go to Roman 2, which one is used as electrodes. Now, electrodes are basically, usually rods in nature, in solid form that link between the solid wire here we have our wire and our circuit and here we have our electrolyte electrolyte so you'll find that this is our rod or electrode in this case the graphite rod is our electrode even this one is also a graphite rod so you'll find that this solid graphite here links between the solid wire and the electrolyte between the electrons flowing in the wire and the ions that are within the electrolyte so it should be able to conduct electricity or at least to help the movement of the charges so that this circuit can be complete so why is graphite good as an electrode feel free to check out my video on graphite it explains why graphite contains free mobile electrons to conduct electricity. This is the reason why we use it as an electrode, because it can conduct electricity due to the free mobile electrons it possesses. Lastly, part B, name two elements other than carbon that exist in different forms. So you want to know more elements that can actually have allotropes. There are very many elements that do have allotropes, but we shall try to look at the common ones. So we shall look at sulfur and phosphorus. Sulfur has two common allotropes, rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur. Feel free to check out the differences between these two forms of sulfur in terms of appearance and maybe stability in terms of room temperatures. Then phosphorus, we have red phosphorus and white phosphorus at least as the common forms of phosphorus although we can also have our black phosphorus here so these are the two common elements that can actually have or exist in different forms in the same physical state that was all for question one let's now try and look at question two thanks for watching stay safe